Hello, anyone not still living in the 1970s? We interrupt your day to bring you this announcement. Husker Ninja is in the building. Hi, guys. Welcome to episode number 30 of the South Alabama Jaguars Online Dynasty right here on NCAA 14. Today, it's the final game of season number two. It's bowl season, and we are in the Fiesta Bowl taking on West Virginia after losing a heartbreaker last week in the conference championship game against Texas State. We are now 0-4 against or uh, 0-4 four user games in this dynasty. All four of our losses have, have been to Texas State. And we're looking to send out some seniors here today with a win in their final game as a Jaguar. And hello everyone and welcome to University of Phoenix Stadium. It's BCS Bowl time here for you. We got the Fiesta Bowl between the number 14 West Virginia Mountaineers and the number 10 South Alabama Jaguars. It is the final game in a Jaguar uniform for many key contributors to this first two seasons, including the wide receiver Sam Harris and cornerback Jalen Thompson, both of whom are on the return team. And Thompson will take this one from his own end zone. He'll get this one out to about the 25. There is a flag down. It'll be a clipping and that's not how South Alabama wanted to start this game. That'll be on Andrew Rinkmeyer, the senior tight end. Won the Mackey Award last year. Finished third in the Mackey this season. He went over 1,000 yards in each of his two seasons of this dynasty. And him and QB Evan Orth are set to play their final games as South Alabama Jaguars. And we're going to look to send them out with a win. Trey Minner going to get the handoff on second and four. He'll have enough for the first down. They're on now third and five. Or it's back to pass throw there. And he's caught by Rinkemeyer. And Rinkemeyer will pick up nine for the first down, third down conversion. Move those chains again for the South Alabama offense. And on out is second and three. Orth going play action throw there. And he's caught by Baker. That'll be Kwan Baker for a gain of four. And that's the first catch of the day for the Blitnikoff Award winner here this season. He's got 1,700 some receiving yards. He's had one outstanding season. And on second and 11, Evan Orth got nowhere to go. Reese Donahue coming up with the sack for the Mountaineers, and it'll set up a third and 19. And see, he, Donahue just came free, and Orth never had a chance. Now it's 3rd and 19 here for South Alabama. 3.35 to go here first quarter. Horse back to pass. Throw underneath. That'll be caught by Baker, but he's not anywhere near the first down marker. It's 4th and 13, and the Jaguars have to punt. Greer back to pass for West Virginia as they be, have the ball for their first drive of the game, and that'll be to Marcus Sims for a gain of 20. Marcus Sims is wide open over the middle. He'll pick up 20. That's an easy West Virginia first down. Later on, it's now second and nine. Darian Mills going to miss a tackle. And Kennedy and McCoy will pick up 19 and another first down from the Mountaineers. They're on now to second and four here. They got it out the 26 of South Alabama. McCoy in motion. They will play action. Greer's going to throw that one away. There's a flag down. And it's going to be pass interference. Are you kidding me? They are going to call pass interference on Sean Brown when Greer was chucking that ball out of bounds. He wasn't even trying to throw it to him. Now, not a catchable ball. He was throwing it out of bounds, and they're going to they're going to flag Brown for roughing the or they're going to flag Brown for pass interference anyway. I mean, how? Like, how do you think he's going to realistically have a chance to make that catch? It's already, like, well above his head, and that's going way out of bounds. He's got no chance to catch that. But they call pass interference, and so a free first down it is. They're on following the penalty. It's now third and four. They're going to capitalize on the bogus pass interference call. That will be dropped by Jennings. He 
would have had a first down easily if he had been able to hold on to it. Instead, it falls off his hands, and it's fourth and four. West Virginia's got to settle for three. The kick is going to be through the uprights, and so the Mountaineers strike first here in the Fiesta Bowl. They lead 3-0 with a minute 28 left. Ensuing drive for South Alabama now is third and six here on what should be the final play of the opening quarter. Or as hit as he throws, but that's a strike to Rinkemeyer. And Andrew Rinkemeyer's got a gain of 11 and a big third down conversion as we end this first quarter. One gone, three to go here in the Fiesta Bowl. West Virginia with a 3-0 lead over South Alabama. It's been a pretty tight game so far. We'll see if that continues. It's a third and six here now early for this South Alabama offense. Horse back to pass. So it has a man open. It's Baker, and Baker's going to get jarred. But Kawan Baker will hold on to it, and he's got enough for the first down. But Baker is a little slow to get up. We'll have to monitor that situation. They're on second one. They'll get to Foster, and Denzel Foster, the senior running back, will pick up six and another first down. South Alabama's moved it into opposing territory for the first time here. It is first down from the West Virginia 37. Horse back to pass. Throws. Has a man. That's caught by Rinkemeyer. And Rinkemeyer will make the catch in traffic. Pick up 12 yards and another first down. They're on now. It's third and three here. We got 416 left first half. Or throw. That's caught by Baker, but his momentum. Slowed him up just enough to where it'll be fourth in the inches. He was just shy of the first down. And South Alabama going to go for it on fourth and in inches. Orth will keep it himself. Evan Orth will pick up five on the QB sneak when he only needed a couple of inches. First down, move those chains for South Alabama. They're on here. He is second and goal from the four. They'll pitch this one out to Minner. Minner going to break a tackle and trade Minner into the end zone. That's a three-yard touchdown run for Minner, and South Alabama's taking the lead here in the Fiesta Bowl. You can see Minner breaks one tackle at about the three, and he's in. And South Alabama now leads it 7-3 with 2.28 left. Greer going to try and scramble. He's dropped by Turner, Tyree Turner, coming up with a big-time sack right there, the junior defensive tackle. It's a loss of three, and that'll set up a third and 13 here for West Virginia. Right, third down and long here for the Mountaineers. They trail by four. Greer's back to pass. Throw there underneath. Caught by McCoy, but McCoy with nowhere to go. It's a gain of four, and South Alabama will call a timeout. They'll get the ball back here. There's a minute 22 left first half. It's a third and 11 here. Or throw there underneath. Knocked away incomplete. Adam Hensley right there to break up that pass. Or 7 of 10, but South Alabama has to punt it. They're on ensuing drive for the Mountaineers. It's third and inches. They'll give that one to McCoy, and McCoy will pick up four in the first down. Moving those chains again to this Mountaineer offense. They're across opposing territory for the second time today, but Greer's got nowhere to go as Bobby Flock comes free. On the blitz, the cornerback Bobby Flott comes free, absolutely untouched. And you can see just Greer saw someone coming open but didn't have enough time to get him away as Flott got to him and got him down. It's a loss of seven. They're on us now, third and five. Greer's back to pass. Throws caught along the sideline by Trayvon Wesco. He's going to pick up seven. That was a nice catch. Now they're on second and ten. Greer back to pass. Roll out. Sacked. Down goes Greer. He's got nowhere to go. That's a loss of eight. And out comes a field goal unit here on the final play of the first half. That'll be well short. Way right. Never had a chance. That was no good all the way. And South Alabama will hold on to its four-point lead right here. And now they've got a Hail Mary attempt of their own here before the first half. Or it's back to pass. Unloads, taking a shot deep. It's caught by Baker, but he fell down on about the 10. If Baker stays on his feet, that's six. Instead, he falls, and it's just a big gain. 
And we've reached halftime here. It's 7-3 South Alabama over West Virginia. But boy, it could have been six right there um, on that last play of the first half. South Alabama going to kick it off as West Virginia gets the ball to start. There's a flag down on the return, and it'll be a face mask. And so 15 free more yards for West Virginia. They only trail by four after, after Kawan Baker could not stay on his feet on that Hail Mary to end the first half. Greer back to pass on first down. Has a man wide open, and it's Jennings. Jennings got a ton of running room. He'll pick up 31. First catch of the day for Jennings, but it's a big one deep into South Alabama territory. They're on out second and three from the Jaguar 20. Greer throws. Caught by Sims, and Sims has it down to about the eight. 13 yards right there for Marcus Sims. He's got two catches, 33 yards, and it's first and goal West Virginia. Greer should have pitched that one. Instead, he does. And Rosal McWilliams, the senior defensive end, coming up with the big tackle for loss right there. It'll be a loss of three, and that'll set up second and goal for the Mountaineers. They're on out third and goal from the two. West Virginia down seven to three, knocking on the door, looking to take the lead. Greer will hand it off to McCoy. Tyree Turner stood him up. McCoy's not going to get there. Tyree Turner just meets him at about the two. You can see right here. McCoy gets it, and Tyree Turner's going to hit him at about the three. And he's got his own defender running into him, but Tyree Turner does not budge. Big time play right there for the junior defensive tackle. And the field goal try is going to be through the uprights. And so South Alabama's lead is a single point. It's 7-6 Jaguars, 6 8 to go third quarter here in the Fiesta Bowl. It'll be a second and five for South Alabama on their ensuing drive. They'll give the Minner up the middle. And Trey Minner's got to get, gain a 10 and a first down for the Jaguars. 15 carries, 69 yards, and a score today for Minner. And he gives South Alabama a fresh set of downs right there. Later on, that's second and ten. Or throw. That's going to be incomplete. There's a flag down. It looked like Orth got hit as he threw it. We'll see what the flag is. And they're going to call pass interference on the middle linebacker, Brandon Ferns. And I don't know about that one. That one's a little bit iffy, but it's at least... It's less questionable than the pass interference West Virginia got called earlier in the game. So we can call that even and move on. It's second and four here later in the drive. Rinkemeyer's wide open across midfield. There goes Andrew Rinkemeyer in the Mountaineer territory. Gain a 15 for the tight end. Orse 9-12, 121 yards in his final game as a Jaguar. And that one was a nice gain right there to a wide open Andrew Rinkemeyer. They're on out third and three from the 35 of the Mountaineers. They'll give to Minner. Minner's hit and dropped after a gain of two. He does not get the first down. 18 carries, 76 yards for Minner. And out comes the field goal unit. Patterson, this one will be about a 50 yard and it's through the uprights. Wow, did Patterson get all of that one. That's a 50-yard kick, and he had plenty of leg for it. Big-time field goal right there by Patterson. Extends it back to a four-point game. As a first down here, Greer rolling out. Breaks one tackle, but not two. It's a loss of seven. Big-time sack right there for Sean Brown. Brown, the defensive tackle, cleans up the sack after Greer had made one man miss. And it'll be second and 17, West Virginia. Later on, now it's third and six. We got 43 seconds left in the third quarter. Pat away in motion for the Mountaineers on third down. They'll throw. That's caught by Sims. Sims will make Lawrence look silly. And he's got a big gain and an easy first down. They've got it at midfield, it looks like. 30 seconds left in the third quarter. Gear throws underneath. Caught by Sims. Sims got a big hole. Sims still running. Finally dragged down by Kerry Green, but not before Sims picks up 23. He got five catches, 88 yards. 
And that will take us to the end of the third quarter. Three gone, one to go here in the Fiesta Bowl. South Alabama with the 10-6 lead, but the Mountaineers are on the move. It's a third and six here on the first play of the final quarter. Greer throws, has a man, but overthrew him. That will be incomplete. It's fourth and six. And the South Alabama defense holds, but West Virginia is going to go for it. Greer back to pass. It's fourth down. That's almost intercepted by Bobby Flott. It'll be incomplete, which is just as good because that was fourth down. It's a turnover on downs, and South Alabama will get the football back up by four here in the Fiesta Bowl. Nice defense there by Flaunt, the junior cornerback. It'll be a first down here for South Alabama as they take over after the defensive stop. They'll give to Minner up the middle. Trey Minner got 11 yards, and Trey Minner has a first down. 19 carries, 86 yards for Minner, and it'll be a first down from their own call at 33. Orth will give it to Minner again. Minner's got another big hole, and Trey Minner's got another first down. 11 more for Minner, who's now up to 98 yards, too shy of the century mark. First down from their own 45. They'll go play action along the sideline. That's caught by Rinkemeyer. Gain of 14 and a big catch for the senior tight end. Yeah, five catches, 61 yards. Orth only three incompletions so far today. It's first down from the 42 of West Virginia. Orth taking a shot deep, caught by Baker. And the ball comes loose, but it'll be recovered by Sam Harris. The senior wideout comes up with a big fumble recovery after Kawan Baker went up and made a nice contested catch in pretty good coverage. And that's what you expect from the... Blitnikoff award winner. He does cough it up, which is not good, but Sam Harris, the senior, quick thinking, able to scoop up that fumble. It's a second and six now here. Orth going play action. Throws caught. Touchdown. Andrew Rinkemeyer in the end zone off the play action. And South Alabama's lead is at two scores. And see, they go play action. Works to perfection. Rinkemeyer gets open on the slant, and now it's a 10-point South Alabama lead with 5.32 left. It's now 17-6 South Alabama, third and seven. Here they want to go to the screen. That will be caught by Petaway on the screen. He'll make a man miss, and Petaway going to pick up the first down. It's a gain of 12 across the 40. So that will be a first down from their own 40 exactly, actually. Greer going to throw. Has a man. Nice catch by Sims. Nice effort to run up and make sure he's able to get to that ball. It's 15 more out across midfield to the 45 of the Jaguars. Greer throws. That will be caught by Jennings. Jennings got 11 more and another first down. And here comes this West Virginia offense. Spring into life here in the fourth quarter. They got it at the 34 of South Alabama. It's only an 11-point game. If they can get a score here quickly, look out. Greer throws caught by Sills. And David Sills, the fourth, will get 11 yards. Another first down. They're inside the 15 now. Greer throwing end zone. Knocked away by Darian Mills at the last second. Big time deflection there by Mills. It's third and two from the Jaguar 15. Greer throws. Sideline intercepted. That's picked up by Thompson. Jalen Thompson, the senior cornerback, may have just slammed the door shut here in the Fiesta Bowl. Third and two from the 15, down by 11, and Thompson with the big interception. So that's the, fourth, the second interception of the fourth quarter here for Greer. And now South Alabama going to try and run out the clock as Kawan Baker will make the catch for a gain of 10. And that's a big third down conversion right there as it will help South Alabama con con continue to chew clock. Third and ten again. Going deep. Got to man. It's Rinkemeyer. And the senior tight end may have just officially put the icing on this game with that 18-yard reception right there on third and ten. As West Virginia's got one timeout left with only two minutes, seven seconds left. I'm not seeing how West Virginia's going to be able to make this comeback. Oh, West Virginia now out of timeouts. It's third and nine here. 
Minute 25 left. Orth unloads, knocked away, and incomplete. It's fourth and nine. And that's a little bit of a questionable decision. And here we go now. It's third and three. West Virginia gets the ball back. They throw that picked off. Intercepted by Bobby Flood. His well, actually, no, that's his second interception this fourth quarter. But what I was thinking of earlier was a deflection by Flott. This one is an interception, and that will seal the game with only 58 seconds left. It's first down from their own 25, and South Alabama looking for a shot deep. The icing on the cake. That's a 24-yard touchdown pass. Andrew Rinkemeyer going to haul it in his second of the day. Rinke Rinkemeyer, two receiving touchdowns. He's had himself a nice game in his final game as a Jaguar. Evan Orth has been efficient. Two touchdowns so far, and he's been balling out. That's a big play right there, and that will slam the door in the Fiesta Bowl. It's a fourth and ten here for West Virginia. 30 seconds left. Greer going to take a shot. Unloads knocked away by Jalen Thompson. The senior corner had an interception at a critical moment. It was a third and two from the 15 early in the fourth quarter. West Virginia at that point was only down 11. If they had scored, would have been back to a one-score game. Instead, Flock came up with a bit, or Thompson rather, came up with a big INT. Third and five here. Now it's all about trying to let... The seniors have their moment, continue to pad the stats. That's a completion to Baker. It's second and ten from the 45. Orth unloads. How's a man open? It's Rinkemeyer down inside the 20. 27 yards for Andrew Rinkemeyer. The senior continuing to add to his numbers as he's going to go out with a bull win here in the Fiesta Bowl, a BCS win. Along the sideline, that'll be caught by Baker. And Kwan Baker also over 100 receiving yards. As that will do it for this game. South Alabama wins the Fiesta Bowl 24-6 over West Virginia. Orth had an incredibly efficient day. 187.3 QB rating. 20 of 26. 287 yards. Two scores. An interception on the final play of the game. Completed 76% of his passes. But the interception came only after... Denzel Foster dropped a wide open touchdown in the end zone. That left them time for one more play. Wanted to take a shot, try and add another receiving another passing score and said it was an interception. Go figure. But I'm not gonna hold that one against him. You can see Minner went over 100 yards, had a rushing score. Reen Kamire, the tight end in his final collegiate game. Nine catches, 138 yards, two scores. Baker had nine catches, 139 yards. Proving why he should have won the Blitnikoff. So really, a nice game all around here for this offense. Defensively, Thompson and Nave both had five tackles. Flott had four. Barge and Cole had three. And it feels good to send the seniors out with a win. Rinkemeyer, Orth, Thompson, Nigel Lawrence. All those guys played big roles over these first two seasons and trying to help bring South Alabama to relevance. And we're going to be able to send them out with a Fiesta Bowl win. As you can see, that looked like they had six sacks of Will Greer. Interception went to Flott and to Thompson. Gavin Patterson, the senior kicker in his final game, made his only field goal try, and it was a long one. He made a 50-yard and made all three of his PATs. But South Alabama sends the seniors out with a win. They take the Fiesta Bowl 24-6 over West Virginia. That'll do it for me, and I will see you guys next time. Have a great day, everybody.